Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the channel. I'm the Shotgun Shogun and I wanted to talk a bit about some stuff that I came up with, uh, came across this morning, woke up a little bit late, had extended maintenance, a little upset about that because I wanted to roll for Elfelt, but as soon as I woke up, I saw, as expected, multiple threads literally everywhere, Facebook, Stove, Reddit, even in the Discord, talking about how absolute garbage Elfelt's um, damage is. And that's because, well, Tenha said that it's trash and showcased it on his Twitch channel, which we're going to take a look at real quick. And I've been doing some math this morning because I was like, that just doesn't really seem correct and i do think that actually elfelt may have been bugged and i think that that was one of the reasons why they brought down the maintenance they're probably going to stealth fix it and then it'll be perfectly fine afterwards but let's take a look at the the damage in question here okay so as you can see you're going up against a rowana here right so you can assume pretty tanky stuff you've got an aries and you've got an adamant shield on this team now you don't have any defense imprints anything along those lines so i'm gonna assume maybe 2k defense and i'm gonna use 2k defense because well, i like round numbers right so we've got this and as you can see here i'm not gonna play the the whole thing out we're gonna just i'm just gonna show off the stamp so he does 8353 damage. Now, I did find that his overall stats were 4272 in attack and 320 crit damage. He also has a portrait of the savior at 27. Why you wouldn't just take that to 30? I don't know. Regardless, so if we take into consideration that she does have 2,000 defense, we're giving her elemental advantage as well as increased attack, as you can see in the video that he did have increased attack right here. Now, it doesn't have it afterwards, but that's because, well, the turn is technically over, I guess. So if we take this into consideration, you have 10% defense you have 20% damage transfer, you have 16% damage decrease from the Adamant Shield, you do have decreased defense, and you do have three debuffs on the target. Now, he did decide to showcase a unit with zero Molagoras and then proceed to call it poop, uh, which is silly in my opinion but if as you can see here on the screen you are going to be let me get a little let's get, let's get a little closer and more intimate here now as you can see due to the math this is going to do 12 it should have done 12,354 damage now it didn't obviously the one big thing here is we don't know the actual defense of the Rowana he she was pretty slow However, I, I'm not going to go out and say that this Rowana had like 3,000 defense because let's see, it would have needed to have uh, 300, 3,000 defense to even come close to the amount of damage that was done there. So if we cut this down back down to 2,000, because again, round numbers, one of the things that I think is happening here is as you can see, if you completely negate the deep vent the debuff modifier on the unit it comes more in line with the damage that you were seeing in here uh, let's go back to where it shows that off so 8353 right so is this bugged most likely do i think that everybody should just calm right the f down and wait until afterwards Absolutely, because here's the thing is, with all of the modifiers, there's no way that this unit is not currently bugged in the iteration that was used in this video. Again, I do think that maybe you should have went up against squishier targets, but regardless, yeah, if if this were the case, then you would, um, it would have to be bugged on the modifier. And I think that, like I said, I think that's what is brought down the maintenance and why it's so long because they just said it was dust that doesn't make any sense so take this with a grain of salt wait until after the video or after the maintenance is done retest and then we'll see whether or not there is a reason to 
just flip out on everybody because right now, uh, in terms of her modifiers, she does have one to one on her S1, uh, 0.85 on her S2, but she does get 15% damage up per debuff. So, like I said, I think that this is not taking the debuffs into consideration. She has a 1.1 on her S3. <sighs> Sorry for the yawns here. It's pretty early. Got up pretty early and been dealing with this stuff all morning. Um, so I think that this is what's going to happen. It's going to be fixed. Uh, if not, it's going to be addressed. Anyways, that's it. Calm down. Have a good morning. I'll be pulling after the servers come back up. Take it easy, homies. Peace. <laughs>